Pantanet Brandon here today, and I'll be playing Pokemon Diamond. This is not just going to be any Pokemon Diamond, it's going to be a randomized version of it. Which is going to be pretty fun. First, I'm going to have to go through all this BS, so that's going to be fun. Yay, we don't need information, because I really know how to play the game. <clears throat> and he has a Pokeball. Touch. That their children is a Munchlax. If you don't know what Munchlax is, Munchlax is the pre-evolution of Snorlax. And the only way you can get a Munchlax is if you breed Snorlax with an incense. And if you ask what kind of incense, the answer is I don't remember. Because it has been two months since I bred a Snorlax to get a Munchlax. So. Tell me, what is your name? My name is Grandma. I lied. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I've done that too many times. Is your name Brandu? Yes. Okay. So that is my name. Yes, it is. Who might this be? He's going to be known as... Marcus. Because... Because Marcus is a name that is not Barry. Or Tyson or Damien. Be quiet, Professor Rowan. You're annoying. Well, actually, he doesn't really talk. He's just annoying. The Red Gyarados? I thought the Red Gyarados was in Johto, not Sinnoh. What is this? back when Pokemon Diamond first came out, Diamond Pearl came out, everyone thought that um, you can get a Red Gyarados in one of the three lakes, which was obviously not true, unless you constantly, what was it? Chain fishing, that's it. Unless you constantly chain fish with a super rod, I believe. Not with an old rod, that will get you magic carps. That's if you want a shiny magic carp, that will be level 5 to 15, I believe. Or 5 to 14. Thud, you rude boy, how dare you run into me like that? Oh, he's going to. Find me one million perky dollars, even though I don't have that much. Oh, that is the Y button. I will even prove it. He will be taking 3,000. What a cheeky boy. He's going to be taking my money and my mother's money. Maybe I'll take his money every time I beat him in a Pokemon battle. I bet he would feel very, very disappointed every time I kick his face. Ooh, exclamation point. Saw the news. Mysterious red garrows in the lake. What? That's in Johto. Not here. What's wrong with you, boy? You must on some sort of medicine. Don't ask. Ah, water. Oh, what the hell? No one cares that you're talking to Dawn. Because Dawn was one of the most annoying characters in Pokemon ever. And I'm not even joking. <clears throat> K 
contests, contests. My mom wants me to be good at contests. I want to be better at contests, just like my mommy. Well, no one cares about your bloody mom and her bloody. I nearly called blaming our purloin for some reason. Ooh, Pokeballs. What's this one? Ferret. God jump. <laughs> Screw this. God jump for the win. God jump is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Well, one of my favorite. Well, actually, is my favorite Dragon type. That's what I'm trying to get. What is it? A male God jump Oh. Flamethrower. We're gonna have some roast dolly tonight. I was going to use Thunder, but then I realized that it would probably KO it instantly. No, it would miss. Not K. It would definitely KO it instantly. Stop tapping. Take the briefcase. You're missing two Pokemon. You're missing a Piplup and Chimcha. Go on ahead. All right. Just because you're scared of a. Somewhat of an old man, professor guy. Oh my, these are the people at the lake. They're going to beat the crap out of me. What, Turtwig? He's got Turtwig for some reason? Okay. So apparently I got Piplop. Odd. Hey look, it's my mom. Not really. The one thing I want to know about these Pokemon games, where does your mother sleep? Because as you can tell, there's only an upstairs and the lounge room, kitchen, and dining area. And running shoes. Does she sleep with your character? If so, that is very, very strange. I don't think a 10 year old boy or girl would have to sleep with their parents. Unless they wet the bed. Well, if in that case, they would definitely be kicked out of the bedroom. And our first encounter is our uh, Dusk Noir. Or Dusk Noir. It's pronounced in Pokemon. I already forgot. <laughs> Battle Revolution, that's it. <laughs> well, it never changed. Double hit. Double hit is pretty much a replacement for door chop, in my opinion. Nice pedal dance. Alright. I'll do that more head. Get some experience from it. And also a free potion. And also a free cough. <coughs> that was fantastic. Let me give you a full restore. That would be funny if this person did give a full restore. They do for Dusk Noir. Ursa Ring. Alright, now we're getting to the Jotos. Flamethrower! It got cooked up. So now we're having Ursa Ring for dinner. 
Oh, triple kick. I can't check its nature, can I? No, I can not Frustration, because I'm very frustrated. Oh god, I'm very frustrated. Bye bye. Goodbye, Ursaring. Ooh, a one experience points. Level up. Level six. I think Guard Chomp is supposed to be level 48. Rash. So I'm guessing that's plus attack minus special defense. Seems that way. Sound effects. Again with the thudding and the doesn't matter ring. Yes, we shall go inside. I will nickname my god jump. Villain was female. So I'm not going to nickname Garchomp. I'm going to keep Garchomp as it is for now. Alright, alright. Stop talking about shenanigans about this Sinnoh region and different kinds. I've already seen bloody fine Pokemon. No. Got my Pokedex and my high tech device of Pokemon Encyclopedia in 60 long years. Wait, he's 60? <laughs> he's 60? Okay. He doesn't look 60 in the anime. Maybe he is in the manga? I don't know. I haven't read the Pokemon manga at all. I've only read Dead Man Wonderland and some Naruto. Dead Man Wonderland is awesome. And so is the anime. Lots of blood and gore. If you have a little brother or sister that you want to scare, I recommend Dead Man Wonderland. Or maybe something extremely psychological. Like Future Diary. What else is psychological that I watched? Something. I don't remember. I've watched too much anime. Yay, I'm home. I'm gonna have dinner and sleep. So that means Dawn would have been waiting for some amount of time because he had dinner, then he had a bit of a rest. I doubt it would have been a five hour rest. It would have been around about a seven, seven to ten hours of sleep. Mm, be quiet. No one wants to listen to your shenanigans. And no, Marcus wanted to be here. If he was here, we would be having a sleepover party, which would be very fun. We would be throwing perky balls at each other, pretending we're perky masters. Run, 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 run. Right. What am I battling? It's a Bidoof! I wonder if Garchomp can beat it. Boom! Bye bye Bidoof. I will never miss you. Do 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 do
more of a boss. Interesting. Double hit. Obviously not going to do much. But it will stop its sturdy ability, which I really hate. Grab hammer. I didn't know a purple pass could become a bloody crab. I didn't know it was a crawfish or king lord or crabby or crawdaunt or clawtzer or clauncher. Those are all of the crab Pokemon that I can remember. And that's most likely all of them. Also, Smeagol can learn it, because it can sketch it. Can't wait to see what's in this route. Route. Route 201. 202. <clears throat> now she's gonna teach us how to throw a Pokeball out of Pokemon. As I sip my water. Oh no, it's a bit of... Go Chimicha! Chimichangas! Pintail Charm! <laughs> Use Rock Wrecker! Rock Wrecker is a better move choice! <laughs> oh, oh, that's... That's not part of the tutorial. <laughs> hey, isn't that neat? I killed the Pokemon! Well, that saved me a lot of trouble, to be honest. <clears throat> and that's how you speedrun, children. Let me see what's here. A bear with you. Double hit and see what happens. Let's see what you have. Blast burn? <laughs> That's insane. <coughs> Coughing. Definitely catching this then. It's got bloody blast burn. Oh, that's right, it's a bloody fully evolved Pokemon, so it's going to be a lot difficult to catch. Come on! I weakened you! Now I'm going to kill you! Does this thing only know Blast Burn? Or does the game automatically go for the most strongest move the Pokemon has? Well, piss off, Luminion. I never wanted you anyway. Piece of shit. Mm. Level up. Oh, so close. Why then? I'll catch a bit of... Or a Porygon. Special attack for the download. Is it downloading pornography? I bet it is. Me on that. Sell it for that horror, it's not a special attack attack. Come on. You mean Polygon? Double hedge. Well, that's gonna make it easier for me to catch. Thank you, Polygon. 
I'm going to catch you with my second last Pokeball, hopefully. One. You bastard! You heartless bastard! Now I only have one Pokeball left. This is all your fault, Luminion and Porygon. Go to hell, frustration. Taking up all my anger. Anger on you, you bastard. What's <laughs> the lone spark? Um, I'll just forget Thunder. <laughs> Yay! I leveled up. No, I couldn't catch any bloody Pokemon. Am I able to buy Pokeballs yet? Yay! I'm only going to buy nine. I'm going for one more attempt to catch a wild Pokemon. If it's Luminion, I'm not going to bother due to its... Because it's a second evolutionary Pokemon, so there's no point to catching it. And I'll just probably go for a Porygon. Porygon or another Pokemon that is in this route. Which I believe this should be... Three or four Pokemon. Oh, what's a creature top? I'm going to use Spark on it. Hopefully, that won't destroy it. Poke. Oh. That was lucky. I'm happy it didn't have double edge. Or another move that causes recoil. Yay! I got a Krikatot. <clears throat> I don't really care about Krikatot. Hopefully it will have good moves. Well, I, we already know that it has Minimize. Nanomize, Metal Burst, Splash, <laughs> Splash, yes, the most strongest move of all, Splash, the user just flops up and splashes around to no effect at all, oh my god, so powerful, way better than Garchomp, alright, let's first trainer number one, Known as Youngster Joey, but this his name might have changed to Poet Jasmine. <laughs> Poet Jasmine. Ooh, interesting. Calling the tone. Flamethrower. Burn hacks. Spark. Boom. That's more damage, doesn't it? Stop using Psybeam. I don't want to get confused. And I don't want to get myself confused. So I'll take up my frustration on you. Whee. Level up. Oh, so close. All right, bye, Paul Jasmine. Does that mean this girl's gonna have a guy's name? Listening to the lovely music. So 
So we are missing Rita Lear. Oh, that's scary. <coughs> what does it have? Fury attack? Okay, it only does one damage. Critical hit will probably do like three, four damage. Fury attack. My god of war. I never liked you anyway. Actually, I do like you. You're a good Pokemon in X, Y, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Gallade. Go, Quickie Tot, I believe in you. I want to check his speed stats. Alright, that's definitely not going to outspeed a Gallade. So, quick attack, go! What? Vacuum wave is a priority move? Oh. Didn't mean to do that. You're a bit chomp. I am scared. Do I go with the flamethrower? Yes, I do. Because if it was a real flamethrower, Gallade would be dead. It is dead. That gives me a chance to level up. Another so close. Uh, I'll just use this potion I have. Go potion! Yay! Let's run across and say hello to probably. Old lady. Oh, poet Lillian. Oh, Liliana. Oh, it's X Cloud. I shot. Oh, that's bad. Full time super afraid to begin Garchomp. What's the trigger gonna do? Yay! Damage! Oh, protect. No! Another ice shard. If that's a critical hit, I'm screwed. Frustration kill. What are you going to learn, Garchomp? What are you going to learn? Okay, you don't want to learn anything yet. Yay, I got a level 10 Garchomp soon. I'm in Jubilife City. What a record. <laughs> okay, bye now. Alright, piss off, Dawn. Time to heal my team. And I got a bloody cricket hot on my team. Which hasn't even attacked once. An actual attacking move. It doesn't even get a quick attack in because vacuum wave is too OP. Oh, you memorized anything? Sure, sure. You want a parcel? Here's your parcel. Want to tell map? 
Give me it, you bastard. According to the town map, all is where the next gym is. Oh, that's gonna be great. The Orberg gym is gonna be different. Oh, look! It's this guy who does pretty much the Apple Watch thing. Oh, it's the shitty version of the Apple Watch. I shall get it for free with these coupons. If only they did that in real life for really expensive gadgets. Running, 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 run, 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 running. Hello there. Just spam A and you'll get all of the answers correct. Yay, I have two coupons. Now the final one is this clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? I don't believe they can. Well, Magikarp definitely can't. It has no hands. The same with its evolution Gyarados. <laughs> Yay! Poketch! Alright, now let's verse Barry. I mean Marcus. I'm going to kick him super hard. Then I'm going to catch up one Pokemon here, and then we're going to end the video there with hopefully one new Pokemon. Champion Marcus? And he has a Roselia. He's just making it easy for me. Fire, go! Super effective. Bye bye, Roselia. Level 10! I'm the best! Furret. Okay, so he did get Furret. I hope this thing doesn't have any ice moves. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Epic battle music. Rapid spin. At least it wasn't meat spin, because that is very frightening. Future side. I'm not scared of your future. Well, get this isn't over yet. Yes, it is. Even though you're champion for some reason, you're defeated easily by a Garchomp and a Cricketot. Level up, Cricketot. Level up again, Cricketot. What's going on here? What? I lost? Yes, you did. Go cry me a river, Marcus. Alright, we're going to use Cricky Tot to catch some Pokemon. Okay, just make sure there was no trainer up there. A Meganium. A Meganium. Okay, Metal Bus. Present. Okay. You know, it's present for some reason. Kind of nice. Tackle. It knows tackle. I increase my evasiveness. Pick attack. This is going to be a very long capture battle. Smelling salts. I don't want to smell your salt. I used to thought that was really funny when I was playing in Pokemon Ruby. 
I don't want to smell your salts. It's incredibly potent. That would have been nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Give me a present. Stop missing. Stop missing my gaining um. That's gonna kill it. No? Okay. Come on, get in the red. Oh, it does damage. Yeah, smelling salts and present. Could it not be a present if you got in the wall. That was mean. Ooh, bulk up. That's interesting. Defense rose. I'm going to spam these perky balls until I cut you like a meal. This would be nice to have a female Pokemon in the party. No! Cricketot! You are so young! That would also mean I have <laughs> two Mark 1 in their final evolved form. That would be bad if I used Flamethrower. Come on, Pokeball! Yes. Yes. Yes! Even worse! Oh no, it's tackling me. It's only doing 2 HP of damage. Come on! Come on! Why don't you want to be my friend, Meganium? Do you really want to be on my bad side? Do you? He shakes his fists at the game for some reason. Come on. I got a Meganium! Zero, zero, zero. <gasps> They're going to call the police! That was supposed to be an Australian joke if he didn't catch that. So let's see what Meganium has. Interesting. Interesting. It has a mild nature. And I'm not too familiar with that nature. Rash. And then we have a Jolly Nature, so that is plus speed. Okay, so it looks like Cricket Dog has a really bad base speed. Other than that. <clears throat> oh, that would be bad if I got into a battle. But anyway, that was the first video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I did. And also I got very frustrated with catching Pokemon 